what's up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tamara if you are new thank you so much for stopping by in today's video we are going to be refreshing my home our apartment space um, I'm just kind of tired of everything it's spring it's time to bring out some new decor and start building off of that time to refresh and brighten this space um, all of our stuff has been kind of the same since we lived here and I'm tired of it so I'm sure some of you can relate um, we're gonna clean up a little bit rearrange some things shop our own home and of course we have a couple of new pieces we're going to be putting out and I'm so excited to dive into them because like I said I'm a little bit tired of how everything looks everything is nice it's nice don't get me wrong I love our home and I love our space but it's time for something new and it's time to change it so that's what we're going to be doing today I have things from Target Home Goods Hobby Lobby all the things and I'll be sure to share all of them as we go along um, if you are new please consider subscribing I would absolutely love to have you drop a comment down below if you like videos like these and you want to see more from me give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started so i'm starting everything basically getting everything out of the way everything has been out since god knows how long those pillows have been out since christmas and the dark green just doesn't fit my mood anymore so we're just picking up everything and getting it out the way i had to kind of break this video up into two parts because you see that little brown guy right there He's very needy and he's nosy and he's a baby and as you can see he follows me and wants to know everything that I'm doing. So I kind of just did this in two parts just to make it easier for myself and because I had a busy week this week and I was ready to get it done. So here I am just picking up everything that I want to go away that I'm going to change out that I need to dust, clean, wipe. I'm just moving everything so that when it's time for me to come back and clean it's easy. I can just clean and lay out everything that's new. So here I'm just changing out this book and um, I did this now <laughs> or in the first half because I wanted to put the book end away so that's the only reason I'm changing it I just got this plain acrylic book end off of Amazon um, because I just wanted something that was not as bulky um, and that was also inexpensive <laughs> and just clear and out the way because I hated how the elephant one kind of pushed out the space you know I don't know I didn't like it so I moved that and then of course after we get everything out of the way and you start moving things you find a lot of dust and as you see I have a new puppy he sheds so we have to dust a lot more often which is fine so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that done Okay, so since I had to kind of break up this refresh, 
um, into a few pieces because of that furry friend right there. Um, this is kind of what we're working with from um, this point out after I've kind of picked up everything that was there before. As you can see, his crate and his little playpen area have literally taken over the small little living room space that we have. So I'm gonna move this out the way just for the purpose of the video um, and so that we can see everything. Um, but this is what everything looks like. I'm gonna go here into our room. Our bedding is beautiful, our bed is beautiful, but I'm tired of looking at it. Like it's just time for a change, time to switch it up. I switch it out to a white one every now and then, but I got a new white one that I'm excited to try. I was tired of those flowers in there. Um, so we're just gonna switch things up a little bit, kind of make it a little bit more airy in here and not so flat. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited and clearly this one is living his best life. Say hey, Papa. <laughs> Also, shout out to the girl on TikTok that told me about these charcoal pee pads. <laughs> these charcoal pee pads because they are the best thing ever. I hated seeing pee on the white ones and these kind of absorb his smell for us, but he can still smell himself on there. So if you have a pet and you haven't checked these out, try them. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into everything. I'm gonna start in the kitchen. I apologize for the squeaking you will potentially hear in the background, but somebody is very needy today. So, um, I'm starting off in the kitchen and it seems like the kitchen needed the most cleaning out of everywhere else because it requires such deep cleaning. Zeus move. <laughs> It requires such deep cleaning and you know it gets so messy because food is messy right like so I took my time in here and did a good deep clean wiped everything off wiped the walls wiped the cabinets wiped the floors um, wiped the oven so I'm gonna spend a decent amount of time in here just getting it done and I'm just gonna let y'all watch Be honest. 
comment down below when it was the last time that you literally cleared everything off your counter wiped the walls wiped the cabinets wiped down all your appliances and everything I know that this isn't something that I do every single week, much less every two weeks. I think it's maybe about every three to four weeks for me. And sometimes depending on how life is, it might even get skipped. Um, so comment down below, when was the last time you cleared everything off, wiped off all your appliances, everything that was on the counter and just kind of got everything brand spanking new. So for the kitchen, I pretty much kept it simple because I don't like a lot of things on the counter. And as you see, we have a apartment sized kitchen. So to keep clutter to a minimum, um, I just wanted to change out that fruit bowl because all the time the fruit falls out of it, all the round things, little clementines always falls through those little holes. So I got a new coffee bowl and don't worry, I wiped it out prior when I brought it home. Um, so I'm just transferring that out, laying out a new mat and just putting down some new oven towels. So for the bedroom, since I had already dusted and everything, I just went ahead and wiped off all the surfaces just to get it smelling good and get it nice and clean. And then I changed out our comforter and laid out some new flowers. I love this coverlet, but I'm tired of looking at it. Um, we've had it for a while and I change it out every once in a while, but I, I just wanted something new and fluffy and fresh. Um, and I also hate that I can only dry clean this. Um, it's not machine washable so that was also very frustrating so I was very excited to change that out and you'll see what I changed that out to in a minute but yeah I'm just gonna wipe everything off and then get started on the bed and laying out new flowers. So I thought that I would be able to lay this blanket out and it would just kind of 
tie in but it looked like something's missing doesn't it look like something's missing um and i also didn't like how i made the bed so i kind of fluffed it up a little bit um, but i went ahead and added those pillows back because it just helped to tie in the topiness of this blanket it said on the website that it was gray this is not gray but we move um it's super super soft so i was not returning it i was just gonna make it work so i'm glad that i did but definitely not gray pottery bar needs to check their website because um, I was very misled. <laughs> This is another space that I was kind of tired of looking at. I had the same little centerpiece for so long and it just started to look boring. So I made something new. I actually did post it on here um, as a short and it's also on my Instagram page if you wanted to check that out. And um, I laid out some new mats just to kind of give the table a different look and I really love how it turned out. If I didn't already say this and I don't think I did, everything that I can find a link for and that is linkable will be linked down below. So do not fear, um, including the lilies that I used in this centerpiece, the mats were a gift, so I cannot link those, but everything else that I can link will definitely be down below. Y'all, I got this little box of moss from Target and I was seriously underwhelmed. <laughs> As you see, I took everything back out and I got my old um, decor. I don't even know what, what is this stuff even called? I got this stuff back out and I added some of it to add body to the bowl and then added what I bought from Target back to the top. I grabbed this from Target because it had the green in it and the brown. I just wanted to kind of add some color and dimension to the bowl and to the little area here. I was just kind of flat, tired of looking at it. Um, in the fall, I had, I had added some little pumpkins and I really liked how that looked. So I wanted to add something else for the springtime to just kind of tie in some color into the living 
living room. Um, so I like how that looked once I added what I previously had on top of what I got from Target. At one point, this space felt very Christmassy, very holiday-esque. I had white candles with like gold flecks on them, silver and gold stems in this vase. So I went to Hobby Lobby and found these white stems and I love how it turned out. Replaced those candles for some plain ones and it just kind of made the area look nice and clean and appropriate for the spring season. Then moving on to the bane of my existence, this couch. <laughs> um, it was a lot easier to use a lint roller. I've tried vacuuming it before and a lint, lint roller works just as well. So I'm just gonna do that and fluff the couch up to the best of my abilities and then shop my home and put some yellow pillows out here just to add some color to the space. Somebody was being Curious George during this time, but in a quick second, he's gonna be running from that vacuum. But we know that no clean and refresh with me is complete without a good vacuum to get everything up off the floor, all the dust, all the fuzz from the pet toys, get everything up off the floor, and then we'll do one final walkthrough. All right, y'all, that is it. The kitchen is clean, very minimal in here. I hate clutter in the kitchen. So this is just enough for me. I ended up taking that yellow towel out because I don't like it. I really wish that this was three, but it's fine. Um, it's not that big of a deal. And then out here in the living room, I loved how everything turned out. It's nice and fresh. I thought it would have been giving fall, but it's definitely giving spring. I love the yellow pillows. Somebody, again, is living their best life over there. But I have these yellow pillows. I just shopped my home for this because I don't need any more throw pillows. And over here, I just got rid of the Christmassy like flowers. I rearranged those photos just because it looked a little odd at first. Um, got these flowers at Hobby Lobby or floral stems. They're not really flowers. Um, kept that minimal as well. Finally added some coffee table books and a little bit of green moss just for some color over here. And then over into our little dining space, I added some placemats that my cousin actually gave to me. Shout out to you, KJ. Love you, girl. And then um, I actually made this um, floral arrangement. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen it. So definitely pop over there if you want to see how I made that. And always got to have the coasters because we have a glass table. And I just love how fresh and like clean it looks in here. Despite that, of course, because obviously he will pee in the house if we don't have that up and then in our bedroom i love how this turned out it just looks so airy and like kind of hotel vibey in here um i was kind of over the gray and i wanted something a little bit fresh um i almost didn't use these pillows but pottery barn this is not gray this is not gray this is more of a taupey color um so when i was expecting it to be gray to tie in with the headboard it looked a little funny so i put the pillows back and i actually like how that looks um this comforter is the Casaluna brand or line from target and it is bomb 
I haven't even slept in it yet and I know I'm gonna sleep good. It is so heavyweight but still light. I love that and I love that it's machine washable. Our other, other comforter is, um, or coverlet, is only dry, uh, dry cleaning only. So, love that I can throw this in the washing machine. I got this little basket here from Marshalls and I just like to put our blankets in here because Zeus likes to lay on everything that belongs to us and I'm not having that. Um, and also they just kind of always end up on the floor. So I like having somewhere to put them. Um, not really filling our nightstands, but it is what it is. Again, I don't like clutter, so that works for now. I put his dog bed right there and that actually ties in to the decor as well. And then up here we kept it simple and I got rid of the old flowers and added some flowers that are a little bit more warm toned to kind of tie in to the decor on the bed. Again, very minimal, very simple because your girl does not like clutter. So absolutely love how that turned out. Give you one last overview of the room. Simple but clean and fresh. And then again, the living room, I love when the sun hits in here. It just makes me want to stay in here forever. My home is my happy place, which is why I spend so much time decorating it. So one last look this way. And you can see how nice it looks without Zeus's crate right there. But we are trying to crate train him. So um, have to have that there because he sleeps in it at night. And yeah. You sleepy? Are you sleepy? <laughs> oh, mommy's baby. <laughs> All right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, I know I did. It feels so light and airy and fresh in here and I truly enjoyed myself cleaning and refreshing this space. I was very tired of how everything looked. It was flat and boring. Um, so I love having this new base to kind of build stuff off of and add new pieces to. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Drop a comment down below on how you are refreshing your space. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Share this video with someone you love and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.